I've been driving Blueberry here, uh, forget how many miles, uh, so far, about 175 miles, it's going to be a good 300 mile trip today, by the time I get done, uh, going up, had, uh, and still have issues, but on the way up, on going north, uh, I had the four-scan running, and what ultimately happened was, is I got on the four-lane and floored it, and that is when she was stumbling really bad, and I finally got a DTC. A check engine light was flashing, and uh, it didn't even go solid. It went flashing, and it flashed for about, uh, I want to say about a minute, and then it disappeared. Now I checked uh, four scan through my OBD2 that I have connected to my smartphone and I decided to pull up and check for error codes and lo and behold I have an, two error codes that I will show that, that I uh, captured a screen capture on for cylinder four misfire. Now I've been thinking it's an ejector and I still suspect maybe it is, but it could be fooling me. And I'm going to change out cylinder four coil. Now, I'm going to put a 200,000 mile coil in to replace the one that's in here that has 119,000 miles on it. But I do know that I have six of them I took out that were working. So I have the opportunity to put a working coil in. And if I still have a misfire, I'll put another one in just to verify. And then I know I will have to uh, go with the injector out if I do have a problem. Right now I'm going uphill. I'm getting a jerking in the transmission as I'm uh, trying to accelerate up the hill. And we're at 1,800 RPM doing 62 mile an hour. Once I get to the top of the hill, I go up about 1,900 RPM maybe. Stay about 1800 and uh, stay at 62 mile an hour going slightly downhill, no jerking sensation. Okay, it feels like the transmission just bumps. Uh, a lot of people think it's a transmission issue. It is an ignition issue in your engine. It is not a transmission issue, at least in this case that I'm going through. I know the transmission does not have a problem because it's a misfire that I've verified on the scan. So don't get confused and think, oh, my transmission's bad, when in reality, it translates to a feeling of a transmission problem, but it's actually a misfire that is being generated and you feel through the transmission. So that's how that all works. But this is where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm gonna go home, pull her in the garage, replace the coil, take her out for a test run, and we'll see if that fixes it. If it does not fix it, then injectors are next. Rule of thumb, never throw away your old coils if they're working. Only throw the bad ones away. Keep the good working ones. 200,000 mile coils were all tested and working in a previous video. So, I'm going to use one of them to replace number four. That's right, this is number four, folks. Goes one, two, three, four five six that's how the ford edge duratec is set up it's not the firing order that is just the cylinder order so keep that in mind the dtc that we had is for number four so let's go ahead and put this 200,000 mile coil in to replace this 119,000 mile coil and see what we come up with Five sixteenths, folks. Metric. Yep, five sixteenths. <laughs> Whatever works, right? But just in case you wanted to know, five sixteenths will work for metric for this size. I forget what it is, six or eight. But uh, we got to go ahead and pop this clip back without breaking it. Which can be the hard part. I need to go get my little screwdriver, probably.
get the itty bitty screwdriver there. There we go. Pop that in there. Push that little clip down. Help, help extract it out a little bit. There we go. We'll test this coil and see what's going on with it. It's getting a little bit old. Don't see any in, any indications of anything. Get some dielectric grease on there, and let's take a look down at the cylinder. The head is down in the cylinder, clean as a whistle. So nothing stuck down there. Looks nice and clean. No oil, no buildup. Plug is in good shape. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on there and uh, see what we got going on. It'd be great if this, I didn't put dielectric grease on this. We'll throw a little bit right here. Get a little dab on there. And then we take and put just a little bit in here. Helps make sure everything uh, does what it's supposed to do. In other words, it doesn't stick. We don't like sticky things. So put that in there. We're going to go ahead and put this screw in here again, this bolt. Always hand start them. Makes it easier. Anyway, this is hopefully to fix this misfire. Turn it so I don't strip it out. There we go. Nice and tight. Go ahead and put this back in. Click, click. We're all set. Now we're going to go to for a test drive and see what's going to happen. We got a misfire yet. I could try one more of these, and if I still have a misfire. Then it's fuel injector time. Right there. That's right. Fuel injector. <laughs> Middle of Davenport. A wild turkey tried to cross the street. <laughs> well, I reset the uh, check engine light using the foreskin. We'll see how it runs. Uh, it has a lot more power. So... We'll just give it another run later on. Well, folks, I took and uh, changed the coil out on number four and took it for a run. Lots more power, very little hesitation, but I still get some very minor uh, misfires. Well, that tells me that I've always believed you got one coil going bad, eventually they fall like dynamos. So I'm going to oil a coil pack through Tasca and uh, replace them all. I'll probably replace the spark plugs at the same time. But essentially, it was number four, but I have underlying coils that are also failing. And it's just like Donimo. So if you got one that is failing, folks, just keep in mind, you have others. And right now, there's not enough of a failure point to detect which coil is the one that's going to fail next. So you replace them all. That's the only way to do it. Uh, sad because these coils don't have that many uh, miles on them, but again, they're probably close to 200,000 miles in hours. So, because this is the mom bus, so it's got a lot more hours on the coils than it does miles. But I'm going to replace all the coils and uh, go from there. But thankfully, I held on to the old one, and yes, that 200,000 mile donor coil from Lulu Bell is making blueberry run better so hey hang on to your old coils don't throw them away because they can pop up in an emergency and then you end up getting a car that's running off a used coil buying you time so remember like subscribe everything else that goes with that mac t ford edge and uh youtube facebook join facebook and of course go to the garage buy parts cyber monday have a great time and Band of One's got some great music. My feet hit the floor and I'm having a great day. And 
Mercy Girl's got a couple one-liners for you. Thank you for watching Matt videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.